this is a short video on arc length. Um, so the arc length formula says that if f prime, so if the derivative of a function is continuous on the closed interval a, b, then the length of that curve uh, is given by the integral from a to b of the square root of 1 plus the derivative squared dx. And you could write that in two different forms, just depending on uh, the way we want to represent the derivative. Um, the derivation of this comes from the distance formula, and uh, the textbook will definitely go through that, and you're welcome to do that. Because of time um, and the number of videos we've been dealing with this week, we're not going to uh, derive this here. But I want to go through just a quick couple of examples where we are doing this. It's, it's very straightforward. So we're going to first uh, find the length. of the curve y equals uh, x to the 3 halves on the interval 0 to 4. And so to do this, we're talking about um, the length of the curved graph y equals x to the 3 halves. Um, all we do is we take the derivative. So I'm going to write the derivative as dy dx. Derivative of that is 3 halves x to the 1 half. And so the integral that gives arc length is the integral from 0 to 4 of the square root of 1 plus 3 halves x to the 1 half squared dx. And now we can simplify that. And we get 1 plus 9 fourths x dx. Um, so if it just says to set up the set up the integral, that would be enough. If we want to evaluate, we can now do u substitution. So I'll choose to do the u substitution on the side. So I'm going to come over here and say, okay, we're going to do the antiderivative of the square root of one plus nine fourths x dx on the side. So u equals one plus nine fourths x. That means du is nine fourths dx. So we multiply inside by 9 fourths and outside by 4 ninths. So we get 4 ninths times the integral square root of 1 plus 9 fourths x times 9 fourths dx. That's then 4 ninths integral of u to the 1 half du. We add 1 to the power. We get 1 over 3 halves u to the 3 halves plus c. That gets us 8 over 27 times 1 plus 9 fourths x to the 3 halves plus c. So now the fundamental theorem of calculus says we can pick any antiderivative. We'll choose the one where c is 0 and evaluate from 0 to 4. So we'll go 8 over 27 times 1 plus 9 fourths x to the 3 halves evaluated from 0 to 4. So we'll plug in 4, plug in 0, and subtract. If I plug in 4, I get 10 to the 3 halves. If I plug in 0, I get 1 to the 3 halves. I'm going to choose not to simplify 10 to the 3 halves. That would be the square root of 10 to the third power. So we'll just leave that. So 8 over 27 times 10 to the 3 halves. But then 1 to the 3 halves is 1. And so we'll leave the answer like this. Um, a lot of times we can't evaluate the integral uh, that we've gotten by uh, doing the arc length formula. So sometimes we'll just say to set it up. If we do have to evaluate it, it's typically u substitution or later um, trigonometric substitution or some other method. Um, we can use numeric approximation methods to get these, um, but that's basically it for the arc length video. Thanks for watching.